Okay, well, I am uh, at the Museum of Science and Technology in Chicago, Illinois. I uh, just got through looking at a U-boat from World War II, which is pretty amazing. And uh, now, I'm standing next to a V-2 rocket engine, also from World War II. Uh, now, the rocket program of the Germans is what really kind of was the, the foundation for uh, our space program as you can see here. So I'm getting ready to go into the space section of the museum. I know for a fact that they have some pretty cool things here related to space history that you're not going to see anywhere else. So looking forward to jumping in there and uh, seeing these things and uh, maybe learning something new. Hey, stay out of my shop. Well, this is really cool. This is Aurora 7. This is the actual capsule from one of the Mercury missions, and uh, in particular, the one that Scott Carpenter used on the second manned space flight for the United States. And uh, got a little bit of a glare there, but dang, look at how tight the space is in there. Those guys had hardly any room to do anything. That's really interesting. Okay, so I just showed the capsule from the Mercury mission. This is the rocket that would have been used. And of course, here's you know a model of the, the capsule, so you can kind of get an idea of the scale. Uh, the next set of missions for NASA was Gemini. So you can see it's a little bit bigger. And then the next one that took men to the moon, they used this on the Apollo program, the Saturn V rocket. And you can just see, when you look at it to scale, how much bigger it is than the first two rockets. Interesting. Okay, so uh, every place that I go, I try and identify like the coolest thing that I've seen. And for this part of the museum, it definitely has to be this. This is the command module for the Apollo 8 spacecraft, which was the first manned mission that broke Earth's orbit and also that went and circumnavigated the moon. A very, very historic mission. Um, and the fact that they have it here is, is, is amazing. All right, so here's a little bit closer look at the Apollo 8 command module. Man, oh man. And uh, they have a picture of the crew. So the crew was William Anders and Jim Lovell and Frank Borman. Of course, Jim Lovell was later on the Apollo 13 mission that almost ended in disaster. And it's also where one of the most famous pictures of all time was taken, Earthrise. If I remember right, it was William Anders that took this picture. So, so cool. We're going to go up and see if we can get a, a look inside. All right, so uh, we got a little bit of a reflection, a little bit of a glare, but you can see inside the Apollo 8 command module here. Uh, one story that a lot of people don't know is that on the way up, Frank Borman got sick and was vomiting and had diarrhea. So they were up there in zero gravity with bits of vomit and feces floating around in the command module, and I guess it was really a mess. Um, and if you have time, go on YouTube and look up the Christmas message from this crew in 1968, where they read out of the book of Genesis. Uh, each guy took a turn reading a section. And at that time, it was the most watched television event in history. Pretty cool. Yeah, 
that's kind of a cool idea here. This is what a uh, moon base might look like. Hmm. You know, before the end of it. All right. So this is kind of interesting. Um, this is from the Apollo missions. They got some uh, space food. None of which looks appetizing. Stretch. We need to reach beyond our this is also something from the Apollo mission. Uh, this is a defecation collection kit. Nice. Uh, here's something else that's kind of interesting. This is a chunk from the moon. This is a sample that was taken on the Apollo 17 mission, which was the last mission that the U.S. took to the moon. Interesting. All right, well, this is also really interesting. They have the uh, suit that Frank Borman wore on the Apollo 8 mission. That is pretty cool. I guess they cleaned up the, uh, the vomit off of it. All right, well, that was the uh, space section at the Museum of Science and Industry. Pretty crazy to think that, uh, oh, I got this Conestoga wagon here right behind me. Pretty crazy to think that in 100, 150 years, man was going from traveling on this to uh, hopping on Apollo 8 and going around the moon. Um, tons of stuff here. I didn't even film a fraction of what's here at the Museum of Science and Industry, but it is worth the trip. Make sure that you schedule a lot of time because there is a lot here to see. Uh, but learned a lot today. Very, very cool place. All right, so here is the chicken nugget exhibit in the museum. 